And in our top business story, Barclays has agreed to sell its retail banking operations in the UAE to Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank for 650 million dirhams. According to reports, Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank stated that through the deal, which is subject to approval by the UAE Central Bank, they will gain 110,000 customers, especially predominantly the expat community. Barclays announced in September that it would sell its retail portfolio in the UAE, including credit cards, mortgages, personal lending and deposit taking operations. UA businesses have been forecast to spend 4.63 billion US dollars on IT this year, an increase of 8.3% compared to 2012. That's according to a new report. The report by International Data Co Corporation revealed that the rise in spending is set to continue through to 2017 off the back of IT upgrades and infrastructure from the Dubai and Abu Dhabi governments. The report added that the public sector will see most of business IT spending in 2014 at 1.12 billion US dollars, 24.3% of the total, driven primarily by government-led initiatives to bring more public services online. It added that finance-related businesses are predicted to invest 719.77 million US dollars in IT this year while consumer IT spending in the UAE is expected to account for 30.5% of total IT spending in 2014. IDC also expects total IT spending in the UAE to increase at a compound annual growth rate of 6% over the five-year period to, to total 8.06 billion US dollars in 2017. That's off the back of the ongoing and planned large-scale investments in the country. Dubai-based real estate investment and development company Sheikh Holdings has confirmed that works are successfully progressing at its Billion Dirham Sanctuary Falls project located in Jumeirah Gulf Estates here in Dubai. According to a statement, handovers of the 97 Villa Luxury Community are set to start by the fourth quarter of 2014 and the project is being built by Arab Tech Construction. Sanctuary Falls is the only project in Dubai that provides buyers with the ability to fully customise their floor plan with Sheikh Holdings' bespoke villa team, according to the company. Less than 10 villas currently remain for sale in the project, with all featuring prime golf course views. The villas have all been conceived and created by world-renowned hotel and resort architects and interior landscape designers to offer the ultimate in resort living. Golf enthusiasts can also benefit from access to two 18-hole championship courses, Earth and Fire, as well as the Golf Academy and European Tour Performance Institute. Rotana Jets has announced Colombo and Matala in Sri Lanka as new flight destinations, which will be effective from this Wednesday, the 9th of April. The airline's first international destinations outside of the GCC. According to news agency WAM, the airline revealed that it will operate three flights per week from Albertine Airport in Abu Dhabi to Sri Lanka's commercial capital and to the second international gateway, using an Airbus A319 aircraft in both business and economy class, adding that it will increase the frequencies to six flights in the near future. The airline currently operates to Bahrain, Muscat and Salalah, in addition to the flights to Serbanias Island, Fajera, Delma and Dubai.